All right, Skin Spin Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to the hypocrisy of the mainstream media talking about Trump's bloodbath, 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 bloodbath. But we're going to see what happens. All right. All right, man. Yeah, we back. Sketch pad. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So we're gonna watch this little short video of uh, yeah, the hypocrisy of the left talking about the bloodbath. Let's go. Politico.com reports tonight on the quote bloodbath at the RNC. Headlines calling it a, quote, bloodbath. Yeah, bloodbath. Not only is it going to be a bloodbath, but after they leave New Hampshire, it's a bloodbath on her home turf. That's really and tough. Trump has left a lot of corpses in his wake. I mean, we yeah. can count the bodies as part of the, quote, MAGA drive to take over Maricopa County. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Columnist Charles Blow has a new piece for The New York Times entitled A Biden Bloodbath. 2018 midterms, you can bet that they 100 percent are fearing a slaughter. In fact, yeah. the word blood. Yeah. Bath and massacre come up frequently. The Republican Party will be destroyed. It's going to be a bloodbath. Meanwhile, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. So he says his bloodbath comment was referring to the auto industry. Now, I don't know if that's how y'all heard it, but uh, that's not how it sounded to me. But he... So, no, we, we're not taking it out of context because the context is his history and his life. So I want to say to my, you know, Latino friends, some of them who might be thinking of voting for Trump, when Trump talks about poisoning the blood of America, and he's talking about migrants. When he refers to them as animals, and he's talking about migrants, when he's referring to them as not people, as invaders, let me tell you, people who hate folks like that, they're not going to stop and ask you if you have a U.S. citizenship or a U.S. passport. They're going to shoot first and then ask questions. So I think he's putting a target on all of our backs. He's saying the loud, the, the, the quiet part out loud, if I am not elected, we are going to see January 6th again. And I think we need to be on guard to make sure that we preserve our democracy so that our country looks the way that it should look, like all of us. It's a diverse country. That's what America was built upon. Yeah. All right, yeah, man. Have y'all seen that? You heard that? And all that good stuff. All right, man, look. If you got something to say, go ahead, because I got a lot to say. You got something to say first, or you want me to go? This is why he needs Vavek to be the VP. This is exactly why he needs somebody like him to be next to him because he he for somebody that follows politics on a regular like you do, right? You will be able to understand completely what he's what he meant. But other people will take it out of context and make it something that it's not. And then they'll drive this whole narrative all over again, and it will start from scratch. And then they'll say, oh, he's the cause of this. He's the cause of that. The same thing when they, uh, the same thing with the whole situation when they raided the, uh, the, what, what was it again? The, uh, what was it? Mar-a-Laga. The Pentagon? mar Okay. So. It's the same thing with that. As soon as he said one thing, they may go, oh, well, he was the cause of it. He was the cause of it. But he ain't tell those people to go do that. He basically you know warned you. The Capitol, January 6th. Yeah, the Capitol. Yeah. So I'm like, he didn't tell those people to go do that. So, yeah, man. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is right. It's so it's so annoying and frustrating because like he, he he's basically telling you 
I don't know, man. Let me just shut up, man, because <laughs> this shit is, man. You go ahead. You go ahead. Um, So here's the thing, man. The view, they call them the, the what they call them, the cackling hens on the view. They're clearly, clearly, clearly being disingenuous. Clearly. There's no way around it. I want to say this and I want to say this and I want to be clear. Democracy isn't on the fucking ballot. I wish they stopped saying this. The thing is, people are not scared of y'all scare tactics anymore. They're not. So when you talk about democracy is on a ballot, that's bullshit. And everybody knows this. Everybody knows it. So basically, in a nutshell... They're being disingenuous by saying that this man means that it's going to be a bloodbath as if he's going to have a bunch of people slaughtered. And they doing this on purpose. But you see, you see the hypocrisy behind it. Look at the video before Trump said that all of those was Democrats and they were supporting the Democratic Party. They all used the term bloodbath. Van Jones uh, uh, Mitch, Rachel Maddow they all used the term bloodbath they did so for them to say that Trump is using the word bloodbath as if he is this violent extremist man when was Trump ever violent and extreme when did this ever happen huh? Anna Navarro sat there and she literally said that he he said that, that he's going to poison the blood of the people that come across I know she misspoke but you're saying that this man's saying that the people that come here are poison. We know what he mean. So, so for you to sit there and say that again is disingenuous. At least be honest about it. Say, listen, I don't like the word he used because people are gonna people are gonna take that the wrong way. But you're trying to make it seem like he's pushing an agenda to, for violence. When did this ever happen? I don't understand. When did Trump ever do some some extreme violent stuff? When did he do some Jim Jones type stuff? When did he do that? I, I've never seen that. And most people never seen that. Everybody knows Trump's not a violent man. Why are you, why are you pushing the narrative as he's, if he's a violent man? Everybody knows he's not. And, and if you listen to the whole entire context, you're trying to make it seem like you, he, oh, well, well, nobody took it out of context. He meant what he said. No, he was talking about it was going to be an economic disaster if he doesn't get elected that's what he was saying a bloodbath just like they said when he said about trump when he said about biden you know what i'm saying so he's right. basically talking about evs and electric cars and they're going to basically sell everything to china they're building plants in mexico they didn't even talk about that this is how you know that these people are just evil and they're disingenuous and they just want to control a narrative they didn't even talk about the substance of what he was talking about. Only thing they talked right. about was the word bloodbath. It's all over the news now. Oh, Trump said bloodbath. Last week, it was vermin. When are y'all going to quit? Yeah, it was vermin. <laughs> what, what, next week, it's going to be another word. It's like, what? what, what? A, n bloodbath? Vermin. Bloodbath. Oh, he using talking rhetoric, talking points from Hitler. What? What are you talking about? What? Like, I don't understand it. And it's very, 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 very annoying because we know, you know, and I know that that's not what it is, but they trying to make it like, like we, like we supposed to just bow to them. Like, chill, bro. No, nobody's doing that. But either way, man, we all know what the word bloodbath mean. Y'all used it too. So if you're going to say that he used it in a, in a way of, of, of extreme violence when he was literally talking about the auto industry and how they're building plants in Mexico and not in America, he was talking about that. If you're going to say that, that, that he can't say that as an economic disaster, but he's saying it as why th that doesn't even connect together. If I don't be president, it's going to be a bloodbath. Basically saying like they're saying like what well, he's saying, well, if you don't be president. He's going to get his people and they're going to hurt everybody. Like, come on, bro. Like, knock it off. First of all, how can he do that? 
right? Let's be clear here. How can he do that? He's if he if he loses the election, he doesn't have the American military. So how's he gonna do that? How's he gonna do it? That if Biden becomes the president again, he has the power with the power of the military. So how's it gonna be a bloodbath? Where? What is, what's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? It's like, come on, man. Y'all just be saying anything. So either way, man. Sketch pad, we out of here. Y'all. <laughs>